Hey everyone, how's it going today? Wanted to show you a spark plug change. These are the Laser Iridium NGK spark plugs. Now I'll show you the code here. These are going to be the OEM direct replacement. This isn't anything different than what's already in here. I'm about 35,000 miles now, so I figured I might as well change it out because I have a track day coming up, as well as been doing a couple track days, as well as pools, and it just feels like the, the car needs a new set of spark plugs. So I wanted to try these out, and I'll show you what the old ones look like versus the new, as well as the steps to actually get it all replaced. Now with doing the spark plugs, you're going to want to first remove your battery. Yours may look a little bit different than mine. I have the password JDM cover. And then on the other side, you'll want to remove this snorkel inlet as well as your intake box just to make access easier onto the sides. And the main thing too is not to do it whenever the car is really hot. So I actually just got back from work. I'm letting the car cool off a little bit while I go ahead and take care of these steps here. So I finally have everything off. I had zip tied some of these cables back and just kind of out of the way so I don't bump them but you can see right here and then also right here there are two 10 millimeter bolts those are what hold the plugs on so basically you can use just a little wrench I've already broke them loose they're not on there very tight at all so basically just I'm gonna do it one at a time but I'm gonna undo one and replace the spark plug so here's a comparison of the spark plugs side by side. I'm sorry I don't just blank it on the cylinders right now, but this is the driver front spark plug and as you can see, it still looks pretty good. I mean it looks a little dark which is perfectly normal, but it looks like it still had life left in it. Since uh, I don't know, I would have been fine with it, but since I'm already in the process, I'll go ahead and do them all to see if it makes any difference with the car running or possibly one could be burnt a little bit more than this one here but as you can see the gap is pretty much the same and a big thing is whenever you order these off of Amazon which they're going to be a whole lot cheaper it says that the gap is 0.24 which is actually incorrect it's more about 0.22 and what you want to go with is 0.20 to 0.22 and these are actually even though they say 0.24 they are 0.22 so you don't have to worry about it it's just take out one put in the other you don't have to worry about gapping it or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and just reinstall this one here I'll show you a look of what it actually looks like inside the cylinder now I have this one all done basically I've pulled out the 10 millimeter and you just kind of wiggle these plugs and it'll come out just like that you just have to find a way to maneuver it and basically just position it out of the way so I looked it up this is going to be cylinder 4 here the first one I showed you was cylinder 2 and as you can see looks a little burnt but nothing too bad the gap looks very similar so this one came out pretty good as well so the tools that I'm using are going to be just a half millimeter with a 9 sixteenths you're supposed to use 14 millimeter but 9 sixteenths is the closest that I had on a swivel from another project and works just fine I've already done two with it now this one here is just a little elbow to basically get the plugs off whenever it's kind of in a weird position a little magnet just in case even though this has a magnet on it as well as just a 10 millimeter so there's not very many tools you need at all to be able to take care of this now with my ECU I actually had to remove these two top bolts that are in this top bracket up here and then the two actual nuts that are near the bottom since I have the AOS my ECU is relocated and it's right in the way so I have it propped up right here now and it gives me access to uh, cylinder one and then cylinder three now this here is actually cylinder one still looks pretty good it looks like it's maybe a hair darker than the others one thing I forgot to mention is that whenever you do put these in you don't need to put any grease and if you do you want to put barely just a little bit on it um, the NGK plugs are made just to go straight in without 
needing any type of special uh, grease on the threads. They go in pretty straight and these go in really easy as well. So haven't had any issue with actually taking them out or putting them back in. So this is one and then I have a cylinder three to do after it. It's easier whenever you're actually doing this side to go ahead and pull out both of the plugs and then you have access to both the cylinders at the same time. Then it's easier to probably put the plug in here in the rear in cylinder three and then put the plug in cylinder one. So this here is the last spark plug I'm doing. This is cylinder three. And from what I've seen online, cylinder three is what gets or puts the most work in. And to see that it's not too bad at all is something that I'm actually relieved about. So put this one in, tidy it all up, put everything back on, and crank the car. Let's try it out. Let the air adjust. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is actually the day after I installed the spark plugs, let you know that the car seemed to idle a whole lot better. Initially before I changed the spark plugs, whenever I was sitting at a stoplight, the RPMs would dip a little bit and then rise. And I noticed that it stays a continuous needle now, so not having to worry about that. It was causing a little bit of worry before, but I knew it was just either the spark plugs or just the AFR was out. So while I did the spark plugs, I also cleaned the intake as well, which was a little dirty. Apart from that, just regular driving, it seems the same. It seems like the car, if anything, runs a little bit smoother now. It's something that isn't too noticeable, but from driving it each day, the car actually seems like it's handling a little bit better than it did before. Now the spark plugs was something that was a little bit difficult, I probably could have waited a little bit longer as well, but it was just something that I wanted the peace of mind knowing that I took care of. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below, or message me on Instagram at WRXSnowboarder, and happy driving and enjoy!